the feds have had enough with hip hop, blatant, lawless, wild west, gangsterism. And Diddy is a, the top of the head of the pimple that is about to be burst. If history tells us one thing, it's that years go by, decades go by, when the federal government will tolerate something inexplicably and for reasons unknown. Unknown, unaware, unable to be determined. For reasons no one can understand. And then something happens. They say, all right, the rules have changed. Years ago, J. Edgar Hoover looked the other way with the mafia, what we would call the mafia, LCN, uh, the Cosa Nostra. And the reason why it was posited was the fact that he, Hoover, was enjoying too much fun, mon, uh, fun and, and funny, <laughs> and funny money, uh, basically gambling with his girlfriend, Clyde Tolson. He was a degenerate gambler. And it was reported that Frank Costello used to tell him which horses to bet and didn't really matter. Plus, he became intertwined with the store club and the Winchells, and that's another story. But the real reason was that he was supposedly the national police chief. He was in charge of, if you think about it, he was in charge of stopping crime, stopping crime nationally. And there was this huge festering rat's nest of organized crime. And he knew nothing about it. All he kept talking about was communism. We've got to stop communism, communism, communism. Communism wasn't the problem. Communism was indeed something that was overdone. And at the height of the Cold War, it was very simple, very popular, and also perfect for Edgar Hoover to deal with xenophobia, wartime efforts, and also a kind of an interesting, untouchable, untenable, kind of a mysterious bad guy. But organized crime is right here. Plus, this is before The Godfather. Nobody knew about these people. They thought Frank Costello was Irish. So all of a sudden, after Kefauver, McClellan, and Joe Valachi, and Vinnie Teresa later on, all these people started to point to the fact that there has been, and there was, this cancer, this organized crime cancer, under your nose, and you did nothing about it. Well, that changed immediately. Then later on, the RICO statutes came with Blakey, and that's another story we'll get into later. But the point of this, and what you have to grasp, is that the government is strange. It'll just turn. And people have thought that, well, wasn't there this understanding between the Democratic Party, the radical left, the woke brigade, and hip-hop? Sort of, but not now. And you see, everything that they're saying about Diddy, they've known for years. And you haven't even seen, you haven't even seen the tip of the iceberg. What is being said, what has been acknowledged, what everybody in the biz knows about him and others would blow your mind. In addition, at the top of the heap, and it's hard to, 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 uh, to look at this particular form of organization and to know what to call it. Is it black entertainment? Is it hip-hop? Is it black African American? Who knows? Whatever it is. But let's think about what Cat Williams said. And by the way, enough cannot be said as far as how prophetic Cat Williams was and how he picked all of this out, how he absolutely nailed it, nailed it, and presaged, and waxed vatic, and augured the future, and told everybody, this is what's going on. Forget the Joe Rogan interview, that was just, he was gooned out of his mind. But during the Club Shay Shay piece, that was, that was the dialogue blueprint for where we're headed right now. It's that serious. And what you also have to look at names like Oprah, Jay-Z, Tyler Perry, Steve Harvey, all, all of these Kev, the Kevin Hart's, and this kind of approved list of the anointed ones, the appointed ones, the selected, the special cadre, the approved, the, the cool kids. So it's important to quash 
Diddy completely. Keep into uh, into your your windshield, so to speak, the idea of these rather ominous and furtive and rather threatening pronouncements from one Suge Knight. That was released on purpose, too. This was also to send out messages. Keep your mouth shut. Because let me explain to you the real dark and open secret. The folks who run entertainment, the folks who run the cabals, we're talking at the, the higher echelons of the entertainment pyramid, do not like these people, have nothing in common with Diddy or Jay-Z or anyone. They'll put up a good game as long as they're making money. But deep down inside, no. There's also been the history of the federal government going in and being absolutely merciless to certain factions of the black community. Do you think for a moment that miraculously, all of a sudden, overnight, crack just perfused the black community without anything being done? Do you think the federal government could have done something to step up its efforts against AIDS? Do you think the federal government could have done something to stop and, 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 and um, seriously curtail the Bloods and Crips? Yes. But they were too busy destroying each other. So the government looked the other way. Because the government doesn't like these people. And now we're finding out that Giddy was... Giddy. Giddy. Diddy is far from Giddy. Diddy it was, was mortgaged to the hilt. How did that happen? What, what, what kind of banking universe did he live in that could allow a $100 million mortgage portfolio to come out of nowhere? based upon and secured by basically nothing. They want to quash this. Diddy's going to be the face of this. When he's destroyed or Epstein or removed and expurgated, they know you'll move on. At least they're hoping you will. But this is only the beginning. And this goes to show you the perfect opportunity that the Trump organization has and the Trump message to go to these critical aspects of the black community and to say they're going to do to you what they're doing to us. It's not black and white. It's America versus the deep state and the police state and the shadow government. That's what this is about. Peruse this. Think about what I've said. Please subscribe to my channel. I'm so honored to have you on board. Please sub make sure you hit the little bell to be notified of live streams and the like. And whatever you do, comment, comment, comment as you see fit.